The Royal Society Winton Science Book Prize is the only international prize for popular science books and I'm extremely honoured to have been shortlisted for the 2015 prize. There are six books on the shortlist and the winner will be announced on the 24th of September. The book's called Life's Greatest Secret, uh, The Race to Crack the Genetic Code, and that's basically what it's about. It's about this period in the 1940s, 50s and 60s in which scientists first realised that there was a, such a thing as a genetic code, then they realised that genes were made of DNA, and then finally that there was this stuff called genetic information. I really started off writing a, a book about the ideas, so it was going to be a kind of intellectual social history, but I found that as I wrote, the people who were involved, in particular Francis Crick, uh, took on a greater and greater importance. And so a, a fundamental thread in the book is how these individuals interacted, what they thought, what they felt. What people probably think the book's about is the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA. And there is indeed a, a chapter about that because it's very important. And the relationship between Watson and Crick and Rosalind Franklin uh, is dealt with. And I think I've actually nailed a lot of the uh, myths that surround uh, Watson and Crick stealing her data or seeing a particular picture and that being important. None of that is actually true. They certainly used her data, uh, but that data had been publicly made available and indeed she'd actually given a talk about them in the presence of Jim Watson uh, 18 months before the double helix structure was cracked. The really interesting thing about the double helix structure of DNA and it's the kind of hinge around which the book pivots was emphasised in a second paper by Watson and Crick which they published six weeks after the first one on the double helix structure which is called The Genetical Implications of the Double Helix Structure of DNA. And that's where they use this phrase, which comes out of nowhere, in which they said that the, the sequence of the bases is the code that carries the genetical information. And those ideas of sequence, code, and information had never been put together in that way before. And this idea, which comes out of the head of uh, Francis Crick and appears in the pages of Nature in May 1953, in fact, changes everything. That's the moment, really, that modern biology appears and what my book is about is where those ideas came from and how were they developed and how are they being developed today. Whilst it would be great to win and I hope I do, to be honest the shortlisting and the recognition is a, a marvellous honour and I'm very very proud of that. It's a very tough list, there are some great books on there and well we'll see who wins.